What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the hit Netflix series, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, more specifically, the mystery behind E750. If you find yourself enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button, it really means a lot to me. Also, before we get into the video, I just want to warn you that there will be spoilers for Seasons 1 and 2 of Camp Cretaceous. If you don't want Camp Cretaceous spoiled for you, I suggest you click off the video, go watch Seasons 1 and 2 on Netflix, and then come back after you've watched them. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the video. At the end of the second season, Kenji unknowingly uncovers a mysterious creature hidden inside of an InGen lab. Obviously a cliffhanger for season 3. Not much is known about this creature, which is why we are going to be taking a look at it today to see if we can speculate what E750 could be. When I got my first look at this mysterious creature, I had a lot of speculation for it. A couple of speculations I had for this creature was either a Spinoraptor or an Erlodominus. At one point I thought maybe it might be a Giganotosaurus, but then I realized the creature seems a little too small for that. Plus I think they're saving the Giganotosaurus for Jurassic World Dominion. Then I saw some information on Instagram that got me very intrigued. Now these are just rumors, so take this with a pinch of salt. Three things I got out of it was that one, it will be a hybrid. Two, it will be a descendant of the Indominus Rex, but an ancestor of the Indoraptor. And three, its name ends in Rex. Now, what could that mean? So we all know that the Indominus Rex is twice the size of the Indoraptor, so I'm going to assume that E750 will be somewhere in the middle between the two, larger than the Indoraptor, but smaller than the Indominus Rex. And E750's name ends in Rex, so it's probably going to look more T-Rex-like than Raptor-like. So if I had to take a wild guess, maybe this creature will be called Diabolus Rex. For those of you that don't know, the Diabolus Rex was the original name for the creature during early production of Jurassic World before it became the Indominus Rex. Another creature whose name ends in Rex is the Mortem Rex, but that can't be it because one, it's too big, and two, it's more of a mutant than a hybrid. And since E750 is a descendant of Indominus Rex, it would have to be a cross between an Indominus Rex and something else. What that thing is, I'm not too sure. But if I had to guess, it would probably be a cross between an Indominus Rex and a medium-sized theropod like Allosaurus, Conotaurus, or Baryonyx. So wait, if E750 is a super hybrid, would that make Indoraptor a mega hybrid? Nah, that's absolute rubbish. Right? But anyway, what do you guys think E750 could be? Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are of this. Like I said before, this is just speculation. None of this is true until it is confirmed. But whatever E750 may be, I cannot wait to see this creature in action in Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous. 